Hey guys, so I said about doing a video about my name change and this is the video. So first off, as a lot of you may have noticed, I have changed my name from Brett to Alex. And my full name now is Alexander James Ashley, which I think sounds quite nice. I'm reacting to people actually calling me Alex and realising that it is my my name now. I gave a lot of thought towards it, but I didn't really think about how people would react to it and stuff. I mean, like, I know it sounds weird to say like, how people would react to a name, but people do react to names in different ways. Uh, that's, it's a really hard thing to explain. But after, after changing my name, I found out pretty much everyone hated the name Brett, so... <laughs> That's, that's people reacting to a name. So yeah, now Alex, after a lot of consideration, with this name I actually went to my family and asked for their opinions on it. And we came up with three names uh, to decide from, which was Ethan, Charlie and Alex. It was, it was really difficult because most people picked Ethan and I was looking at it going, yeah, I want that name. <laughs> so yeah, there was there was me thinking I really want the name Ethan and my family going, I really hope it's Alex and I'm just <laughs> I'm torn. I was so torn between these two names going, maybe I could do Ethan Alex or Alex Ethan or something like that and there's my mum and my brother and my nan going, No, no, <laughs> we're not having Ethan. And I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? So it took a little while for everything to sort of settle down in my head and all of this. But eventually, after calling myself Alex and having friends and especially my partner Maddie calling me Alex, it made it, oh, it, made it easier to sort of realise how important a name actually is and how well you connect to certain names. Like... It made me realise how much I didn't connect to the name Brett as much as I thought I did. Whereas with Alex, I, I can genuinely see it being me. I can look in mirrors and look at pictures and go, and, yeah, that's, that's me, that's Alex. You've, you've really got to sort of sit there and have a good think about what you want and what's... I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say what's good for everyone because in the end it is your choice and it is your name. But... If you are close with your family and your family is supporting you through this, then I do highly recommend asking for their opinions. I mean, your mum took all that time when you were ready to be born trying to think of a name for you. Try and get her involved again so that she can have that moment again and she can feel closer. My mum really liked Alex because um, it was close to my, my dead name. I feel that if... You don't have anyone to turn to when it comes to trying to choose your name and having the support through this, then I really, really recommend, especially if you're transmasculine, is going to the Transmasculine Support and Advice Group. And it's a secret group on Facebook, but if you really, really want to join it, then you can always just send me a message and I'll sort it out. But a group like that, you can go to them about absolutely anything and everything and if you go to them I have no idea what I'm doing I have no idea what name I want and all of this you post it you post it and they'll probably ask for a picture of yourself and they'll look at it and go you look like this you look like that and you'll have a good 20 30 people giving you maybe even more giving you these names that you can sort of look at and go actually I really like that one or you can go you know what I thought of that one and if everyone else thinks it then I should go with it um, but really sit down and think about it and especially look at pictures of yourself and look in the mirror and say it to yourself because if you can't do that and feel comfortable it's not the right name when you get to the point of actually wanting to change your name uh, what you're going to have to do is create a deed poll, which is what I've done twice now. Uh, you can do it free, that's perfectly legal, there is nothing wrong with doing it free, or you can pay for it through the government, basically. Um, my first one, when I changed my name to Brett, I did a free one, just because I thought, yeah, simple and easy, don't have to pay out any money. And I uh, found a document online, it's quite easy to search, if you search it in Google, just put deed poll and then put free if you want a free one or don't put free if you don't want a free one. Um, and with that one, they, you basically filled in your 
old name, your new name, and then you print it out and you have two witnesses sign it, and that's it, you're done. And it's simple and easy, as long as you have two, I think it's one or two witnesses, it depends which one that you actually download. But having having two witnesses, they can't be within like your close family and all of this, I think it has to be like someone else that knows you and is happy to witness this. Um, the paid one ended up costing me £23 altogether. I decided to do the paid one because I figured, you know what, this is my set name and I just, I want something that I can truly get through in the post and open it and be so excited over it that I've got this official, well, it's, it sort of feels like a certificate really, you sort of get it through and you're like, yes, I've done it. And it just, it, to me, it had so much more impact than just printing out a free one and writing what you needed to on it. With my £23, I think it was £15 for the initial name change, and then it was an extra £5 for some more copies and a couple of quid for the special delivery so you didn't fold it and mess it up. But again, I, I really highly suggest do not do a deed poll until you've been living with your name for a while you've sat down you've settled with it especially if you're paying for it because that is quite a bit of money to waste if you're not entirely certain on the name <laughs> when you've got your deed poll uh, obviously you'll have to go about changing everything it, it feels like everything like your whole life's worth of whatever you've written your name on um, if you're going back into education you need to change your certificates uh, your passport which is annoying because you still have to pay the whole 75, 80 pound. I'm saving up for that one. Um, it does cost a hell of a lot. Driving license you can change for free um, as long as you're not changing your picture. But I want to change my picture. That, that would cost you about 17 pounds. Um, you'd also have to send letters to Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs to inform them of your name change. Um, if you're changing your name at your GP, you have to obviously inform them and then you're gonna have to get your new NHS number. I have no idea for any other countries. For me, everything I've done is England based. So yeah, just remember that. So if you're watching me from America, Germany, another country out there that I've never been to, um, <laughs> don't, don't, listen to, I mean, the, the, listen to the advice of course, <laughs> but documentation might be different, it might work differently, so I'd suggest having a look on the internet and seeing what's right for your country that you're living in. But I'm not sure what we've got, pla well, planned next. I'm, I'm currently writing the script for our little trans life short film. So yeah, we're, I've, I've put casting all over the internet trying to get some people involved and so we'll keep you up to date on that and of course like usual all the links that you may need to any and every site that we belong to or I, I belong to apparently um, will be in the description box below I suppose we I'll shall see. talk to you soon so laters <laughs>